What's going on guys, Arrow here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about some potential details and information about the brand new Nintendo Switch model that could be coming out this year. Now for the longest time, it's always been rumored that Nintendo has been working on a brand new Nintendo Switch model behind the scenes known as like the Nintendo Switch Pro, basically a more powerful Nintendo Switch that they plan on releasing very soon. And last year we had a lot of rumors coming out that Nintendo is planning on making this brand new Switch model go into production at the end of 2020 and that it could actually be available this year in 2021. Now if you follow me on Twitter then you know that I've definitely been talking about the Switch Pro from time to time. I actually am really confident that a brand new Switch model is in fact going to come out this year. I do think that we're going to see a brand new, more powerful Nintendo Switch model. And today we've got potential information about what the qualities and specs of the system might even be like. And this isn't coming from just like a rumor or somebody saying, well, this is what I feel like a Switch Pro is going to have. This is actually coming right from the Nintendo Switch's firmware itself. Now it might be a little bit confusing as to how this comes from firmware, but I'll try to give you guys an example. Basically, if a company is going to release some new hardware, it's still going to be compatible with the same software, so even if they haven't revealed that hardware yet, they still are doing updates to the software to make it compatible with that hardware behind the scenes. A good example of this was when a brand new iPhone update came out back in like 2019, I think it was iOS 13, and when this iPhone update came out, people who data mined it found icons for a brand new type of headphone developed from Apple. And these headphones were not shown to us and they had some pretty interesting icons, and I remember these started surfacing on the internet and people were talking, well are these going to be like the AirPods 2s, are they going to be something else? We didn't know, but we just knew like behind the scenes Apple was working on some new type of AirPod designer headphones that were later going to be released and sure enough a couple weeks later Apple revealed the AirPods Pros which were exactly the same design as those icons showed and those were like the brand new products that were now capable of using that same software so that's why they were still updating it so that the software was compatible with that behind the scenes even though the AirPods Pro weren't officially revealed. It's basically like the same thing here where even if the Nintendo Switch Pro hasn't been officially revealed yet, Nintendo has still been working on it behind the scenes in terms of making it compatible with the Switch software. And this is exactly what happened with the Switch Lite as well. People saw like a second Nintendo Switch model when the Nintendo Switch was just by itself and they were like, okay, it looks like Nintendo has been working on making it compatible with a smaller Nintendo Switch as well. And sure enough, later they revealed the Nintendo Switch Lite. So it's kind of the same thing that's happening again. Now all of this potential information about the new features of this Nintendo Switch Pro comes from a hacker known as Sirius M and this is definitely the most prominent hacker within the Nintendo community. If you guys have like a hacked 3DS or a Wii U or even a Nintendo Switch, this guy has a part in a lot of like the Nintendo Switch hacking that goes on in the community so he definitely knows his stuff. And so Series M is a pretty intelligent person and he's kind of just taking a look at this new firmware update and the things that Nintendo is doing behind the scenes and making logical conclusions and speculation on what he thinks that this Nintendo Switch Pro model could have based on what he's discovering or observing within the firmware. So he's not saying like this stuff is 100% confirmed to happen, but just from what he's noticing it would make sense that this stuff would most likely be on a Switch Pro. Alright, so the first thing that it says here is that the code name of this brand new Nintendo Switch model is Codename Aula, and I'm not really sure what this word means, I don't think Aula really has like a definition for anything, but it's kind of an interesting word. If you guys are curious what the code name for the Nintendo Switch Lite was, it was just known by two letters, MH, and that's what the code name for the Switch Lite was, but then later the official name was revealed as the Switch Lite, so I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what the official name for this model is actually known as, if they call it like the Nintendo Switch Pro, or if they call it the Nintendo Switch Advance, or whatever they decide to call it. The next thing that it says here is that this Nintendo Switch model will support 4K and once again this is also something that we've kind of been hearing about for a while. We've heard rumors that Nintendo had actually been telling developers behind the scenes to get their games 4K ready and so it kind of makes sense that this Nintendo Switch model would have some 4K and once again this is not real actual native 4K that's happening. The Switch would not be powerful enough to do that and you can't really have a small system like the Switch and then be able to put in the hardware to be able to do native 4K but it is going to be able to do like like an upscaled version of 4K uh, using Nvidia's new technology known as DLSS and so that's what it's probably going to be doing where it basically is kind of like fake 4K but it's going to look really really pretty to the point where you can say it's 4K even though it's still a 1080p image which either way would still make games on the Switch look very very pretty. 
Then we've got some info here about the SOC. Now the SOC stands for System on Chip and it says here that it looks like it's going to be using Merico SOC. So it looks like some new type of system on chip. And it says here Merico has substantially better cooling and battery life. So it could mean that this Nintendo Switch is actually gonna have some really good cooling and it's actually gonna have better battery life too, which is gonna be kind of interesting because Nintendo did release like a version two of the Nintendo Switch, which does have better battery life. If you guys remember, um, like the brand new Nintendo Switches that come in like these red boxes now these ones have way better battery life than like the day one switches which came in a box like this so if your Nintendo switch is in like these red boxes they actually have really good battery life um, like a comparison with like a pretty demanding game like breath of the wild for my switch right now which is like a day one switch if I play breath of the wild in handheld mode at like full brightness uh, with full volume I could probably get like maybe two and a half to three hours of gameplay before my Nintendo Switch dies in handheld mode but if you've got these brand new red box Nintendo Switches that are like version 2 you can play for up to like five to six hours and then still be able to play Breath of the Wild so it's a really good battery life but if this is gonna have even better battery life I'm interested to see how much they can push it if they can get it to like seven to eight hours it could be really really good and then also if it's going to have better cooling, that's going to be nice too because if you're playing a very demanding game on your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode, it's not going to start getting really warm. And I know sometimes if you play like a very demanding game, you can literally put your hand on top of like the vent and feel all the hot heat energy coming out of it. So hopefully they can actually reduce that and not make it really, really warm if you're playing a game like that. It also says here that the tablet is going to have an updated display and I mean that would be kind of cool the Nintendo Switch screen right now is 720p but if they could upgrade that to like a 1080p screen it could look much prettier and games could look really nice on it so that would be really nice to have if they can manage to do that and going along with the updated display it's actually saying here that the Nintendo Switch is going to use an OLED panel which is the thing that kind of surprises me the most here because this is the one thing that I feel like is really really unlikely but if they manage to do it then this Nintendo Switch is actually going to look insane. Now if you guys don't know how an OLED panel works, basically the way that pretty much all screens work is that there's a white colored light that's behind the screen and it's always going to be on when the display is on, but depending on what you're watching on the screen that's how the colors pop up and I'm sure you've had the experience where you're watching something where the screen is completely black but you still see some light kind of leaking through like behind in the corners. That's pretty much how most displays are, but an OLED display every single pixel is its own little individual light and because of that each light turns on and off depending on when it's needed and what colors are being shown and that's why because of that the colors on an OLED panel look extremely colorful, super vivid and super vibrant and even like if a black color is shown basically all the lights just turn off and the screen's actually going to look like super pitch black and dark and it just makes colors look really really good. I always say to my friends once you look at an OLED screen you can never go back. If you've ever seen like an OLED TV or laptop then you know how good these colors can look and you really can't go back to normal screens after so that's why I really feel like Nintendo wouldn't do something like this for a Nintendo Switch, but if they manage to put an OLED panel into the Switch Man, every single game is going to look insanely good on the tablet in handheld mode. And going off of that, it looks like that this new Nintendo Switch model is going to be compatible with handheld mode. I know some people were a little bit worried about that because the Nintendo Switch Lite came out and it was focused on handheld play and it was only in handheld mode. You can't dock it or play it on your TV at all. So a lot of people were worried that this Nintendo Switch Pro was going to be using the same philosophy except the other way where you can only play it in docked mode on the TV like a traditional home console and you weren't going to be able to take it with you anywhere. But it looks like that this new Nintendo Switch model is still going to be able to be taken on the go in handheld mode so you're not going to have to worry about that. And it also says here that it looks like that there's going to be a 4K Realtek chip that's going to be on a new dock. And Series M did mention that this is kind of speculation just from what he's noticing within the firmware. He doesn't know for sure, but it kind of looks like that this new Nintendo Switch model might actually come with a brand new type of dock. And it looks like that this new dock might be able to add even more performance and power to this Nintendo Switch when you're playing it in docked mode. Now this is actually something that I've always been wondering about. The current Nintendo Switch dock that we have right now, to be honest with you guys, is really really unimpressive it's not even really that good of a dock like if you've ever taken it apart before it's literally just a shell of plastic with one chip inside it and all it does is you put your Nintendo Switch in there and it outputs the screen into HD on your TV that's literally all it does and that's always why I've kind of been wondering like what if they actually put more effort into the dock into making it like an actual really good machine that adds even more performance like what if they actually put like a fan in there or put some better like CPU or GPU or something like that that adds even more 
more power, that way the Nintendo Switch can still remain like a slim, sleek little system, but if you want to play it with better performance, you can literally just put it into this dock, which adds even more CPU and GPU power to actually make games run better, and that way you can just leave your dock at home and it stays at home, but you can still be able to play your games in handheld mode on the go. And so it looks like that this new Nintendo dock, if it is going to happen, might finally be taking some of that idea into consideration. So that makes me very excited, like if this new Nintendo Switch dock is going to be a real thing, if it's actually going to add better performance, and if it's going to have like this 4K chip that allows you to be able to do upscaling and all that, it makes sense. I mean, obviously if the screen is going to be 1080p, or I'm sure it's not going to be a 4K screen on the Switch itself, so it makes sense why the 4K chip would be inside of this dock, and you can only be able to play it in 4K mode if you actually have it docked in here so all of that does make a lot of sense. And finally, the last thing here is that it looks like that the new Nintendo Switch dock might actually be still compatible with the old Nintendo Switch, except you're just not going to be able to obviously take advantage of like the new performance boosting stuff that's inside of there. But like if you get a new Nintendo Switch or like if you go to your friend's house and they have the Switch Pro and you just have like a normal Switch, you're still going to be able to put your old Switch into that dock and it's still going to be able to charge and output your game onto the TV it looks like. But obviously if you don't have the Switch Pro, it's not going to be able to add like the stuff to make the games run better and have better performance. And so that's all of the potentially leaked features of the brand new Nintendo Switch Pro model, which could be coming out this year in 2021. I've actually been thinking about making a video that kind of goes through all the information that we have about this new Switch Pro model because we've always kind of just been getting information scattered every couple of months. But if you guys would be interested in that, definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. Like, would you guys want a long kind of just big video going through like every single thing all the way from like when the first rumor started about the Switch Pro up to what we have now? Because if you guys would be interested in that, I'll definitely take the time to kind of research every single little thing, every little hint that we've had about this system and put it together into like this one super long video for you guys to watch if you guys would be into that so definitely be sure to let me know down below but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video then definitely be sure to click that like button and also be sure to comment down below and let me know how you guys feel about this would you guys get this new nintendo switch pro model if it does come out this year how do you guys feel about all these potentially leaked features do you guys think that it's going to happen what do you think will happen what do you think is not going to happen definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know if you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Nintendo content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to be a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at ActualArrow so you can be featured in videos. And also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.